So in the last episode, we were able to create this components folder and we added two components, navbar and our footer component. Although we didn't do much, we just created the basic layout that we will follow. Now, uh, in this episode, we need to create a container component that we will reuse throughout the application for different pages. If I come to our next JS here and expand this, you'll see that our app starts at a certain point here and it is like inside a container. And even if I uh, zoom out, you'll see that everything is inside a container, even the footer, the content and so on. So here I can just expand and I'll do that inside our app components and I'll do it at the root of the components because we'll be reusing it in different parts of the application in pages and also in other components. So I'll add a new file container.tsx we can create it sfc and I'll say container uh, we'll return a div and this div will be accepting children okay so here I'll say children and this children we will be receiving it as plops so here we can add children but we need to define the types for these children remember we are using typescript so to define the types uh, we can go up here and we define an interface of container props and here we will be having children and the type for this will be react dot uh, react node and then we can make use of this container props I can just copy it and we'll make use of it here I use a full colon and I'll say that this is a react dot functional component FC and then we use this angle brackets and we pass our container props right there and you see now that error has disappeared so basically what we have done we have passed these children props right here and defined an interface for that okay now we need to pass different styles for this container therefore i'll be making use of a class name so here i'll say class name and uh, i can just enter here so that you see what i'm typing clearly and we'll have a max a hyphen width of uh, maybe 1920 px so this will be the max width okay so 1920 px and then here margin along the x axis will be auto so what this will do will make the container to be at the center and then here we can define some responsiveness uh, i'll say xl uh, this is extra large screen we'll have a padding along the x axis of 20 and then we'll do md and we reduce this so px for this one uh, will be just two this will be equivalent to 8px so this is padding along the x-axis now here i'll just add a default px so this is for the smaller screens and so on uh, hyphen 4 and i'll save so this is our container and we can make use of it in different parts of the application now let's create our navbar component in the next episode